Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be another one that's sort of sit down and chatting. The topic of this video is running and body image and this is a video I have actually wanted to make for a while um, but I think for a topic like this you kind of really do have to be in a certain place and in a certain mood to film it. But today I really feel like I am in the right place to talk about this and yeah I just wanted to sit down and hopefully start this discussion and make this video to hopefully help some people out there who may be feeling similar or have experienced the things that I'm going to talk about. So body image and body confidence issues are something that I've struggled with since 2014. Uh, I do want to be kind of more open and honest about this because for so long I kept this hidden away. It's not a nice thing to have lurking in your head. It's such a horrible thing to experience as in like body dysmorphia, body image, just body image problems altogether and yeah and how I feel about myself it's not always the most positive however I have made massive progress since 2014 because that is now six years ago and yeah running is something that has been alongside the body image stuff um, and it has been mostly positive however there are some negative things that come with being a runner and body image problems and stuff and yeah I really did just want to talk about that today because I feel like it's something a lot of people actually experience. I took up running to try and build my confidence um, when various things started going downhill in my life um, and yeah I just started running to try and build confidence and it was for various other reasons and I don't want to go into that right now but yeah running has been a major part of helping my body image and body confidence issues however there is a negative side to it um, as there is with a lot of things and I feel like as an athlete or as a runner as I am I feel like there is a certain pressure or an expectation to look a certain way whether that's from people around you or it's from yourself I do feel like there's an expectation to look a certain way or to look this sort of athletic stereotype you do become surrounded by a lot of people who have these builds and who are athletic looking and are these sort of athletic stereotypes and you can start to think well I don't look like that so am I really like a proper athlete am I really a proper runner and no I'm not entering the Olympics I'm not a professional running is a massive massive passion and I pretty much run almost every day. I run as a part of a club, I enter races, I am around that environment as in I'm still entering races and I feel that there definitely is a certain pressure or an expectation to look a certain way. In my opinion I'm not naturally athletic looking, I'm five foot three so I'm quite short. I'm not mega mega skinny, like I'm not stick thin but at the same time I'm aware I'm not huge. I don't know, it's really hard to say and I hate talking about this, it's a very difficult thing for me to talk about. However, I have had people say the complete opposite and they say that my build is perfect for what I do and I don't know, it just makes me feel, it just always makes me feel funny because, I mean, having suffered, suffered from body dysmorphia, sometimes you just, you know, you're not feeling how you actually should feel. I've had some interesting things said to me, all positive, I've never had any negative comments said to me but it is sort of interesting to hear how people view me and yeah but I don't think that I'm naturally athletic looking at all and and I think I still kind of do compare myself to other people and I just sometimes think in my mind that I shouldn't be an athlete I shouldn't attempt to do any of this stuff because I don't look a certain way and that links on to the next thing that I want to talk about is how bodies change once you start running and sort of becoming more athletic. My body has changed since I took up running. It's changed in a positive way, but I do still feel inadequate in how I look, if I'm completely honest, sometimes. I'm not saying this all the time, this is just sometimes I think when I'm in the environment of a race or just around loads of other runners and you're looking at other people and you're like, wow, I don't look like that. It is a weird mindset to have. And unfortunately, this did actually stop me from running a race last year. It wasn't even a race, it was just like a charity run. I just felt like a failure comparing my body to everyone else's. I just felt horrible about myself and I thought, what is the point in me being here? I'm not a proper runner, I don't look a certain way, I don't look like all of these people. It was awful because, I mean, nothing like that should ever hold you back. It doesn't matter 
what you look like but it did matter to me in that moment and on that day. My brain just was, wasn't letting me see straight at all. I've written down in my notes here that yes, there is a certain expectation or a stereotype to how an athlete or a runner should look, but we definitely shouldn't let that stop us from becoming that runner or that athlete that we want to be. It really doesn't matter what you look like, like what you can achieve means so much more than your appearance. The thing about running and the thing about so many different sports, pretty much any sport, is that no matter what body type you have, you can achieve amazing things. It's a flipping awesome achievement to run 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, marathons, ultras, and you're doing a hell of a lot more than a lot of people are doing. It's just, it can be so hard to deal with these struggles, but I think the nice thing to think about is no one will ever have your body. That's something special to you and it's taken me a long long time to start accepting what I look like and to start being happy in my own skin and yeah I just kind of wanted to speak up about it. A quote that I have started using quite a lot is comparison is the thief of joy. Don't let body image comparisons take away the joy of running. Running should be enjoyed, it should be a positive thing and yeah, don't let comparisons, comparing your body to someone else's, don't let any of that get in the way of your enjoyment for running. I think, yeah, that's how I want to finish this video. Hopefully this has been an interesting video to watch. I think it can be applied to many other sports and many other areas. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this has made you feel a little less alone if you have felt certain things or experience some of these feelings and yeah I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye guys